after 20 years of business building websites, I've learned that there are three master components to building a successful website. Uh, those components are design, optimization, and customer conversion. So each one of these components are, are very important as a whole because each one contributes to the quality of, a, of attracting good customers, qualifying them, and following up with them. The, the first component, design, is crucial because you really want to communicate to your customer that you have a, a quality website and that you offer a quality service. When you have a great looking website, that communicates to the customer that you are going to deliver a quality service. So the design needs to be thorough from your branding to the colors on the page all the way to the the crispiness of the images and the cinematic of the video. All of those components contribute to a great looking website. So again, that's your images, your video, and your logo. And then also the, the quality of content that you put on the page. You want to both educate your customers by having FAQs, supplying some testimonials, that allow them to understand how other people have received this service, your services that you offer. So from the top you're covered on the content, you're going you're going to cover the why, the what, the how, which psychologically allows the customer to make that decision to purchase the services or the products. And then they've got the test social recommendation as well as the, as the frequently asked questions. All of these components from the imagery and the branding and the content make up a great quality design. The next component is optimization. Optimization has three key features. Uh, the first one is just straight up speed. When you optimize your images on, and scale them to the right size and you compress them, then you're getting the speed that you need. Uh, the next one is for the search engines. When you put your alt tags on your images and when you are using your heading tags, then you are optimizing and you're, you do a keyword search and you're optimizing that page for the search engines using those, those tools available to, to you. The, the third component is accessibility and a lot of accessibility uh, creates or helps make your page searchable for the search engines. Uh, those things include your he using heading tags, uh, your H1s, H2, H3s, but it also includes the alt tags as well as the contrast, which is something you normally don't think of, but the contrast between the letters and the background is what makes the website accessible and makes things easy to read. Uh, for instance, having a light, a small 11 point text that's gray on a white background is not very readable. So you're making it difficult for your customers to read your website when if you had a larger font with a darker color, you would create more contrast. So again, the optimization is a, made up of those components between uh, the accessibility, the speed, and the searchability. So that's what makes up a real true optimization package. The third component of a great successful website is customer conversion. Um, the conversion is, it's even more than that, it's also the follow-ups. So there's three little steps here. One is when a customer first visits your website, you need to have the psychological triggers there. Like it's easy to purchase our services or by having a, a how-to step one, two, three. That always helps the customer think in their mind, okay, I, I can do this. You know, I can, I can purchase this service or this product and I can get it. Uh, so that's one of the points there. The next step is, a, on, a, on the marketer side, is the qualification form. You wanna make the customer feel like they're getting something of value. So when you ask enough questions on a form, 
then you're acquiring enough information the customer is giving enough information and they're going to expect something of quality in return so qualifying your customers is very important uh, then the next step is that you want to automatically reply to that customer with the information that they've provided uh, so automated responses is good and there's two diff different paths here one is if you're qualifying a customer which makes them a prospect then you can also have follow-up emails to book an appointment which would give them a touch point uh, typically you can use a CRM for this process to guide them through the, the sales process to get them onboarded to make to convert them into being a customer once you convert them into a customer then there's a purchase point and that can be done either through the website or offline. If you do it through the website with WooCommerce, like if they're purchasing a product or a service, then you can have an automated email follow-up one day, two days, three days from the e-commerce system. So this is going to encourage them, maybe you've got a follow-up purchase that they can, they can make, or maybe they've purchased something small that's kind of a, an, a lead-in or a teaser product then they can get an immediate email to purchase something bigger at a discount so again you're building that trust for the customer uh, then the last component of the customer conversion is really putting all the customers in all the different ways that they interact with your website into a single list like uh, a MailChimp list you can do this through the three at least three different ways one is to have a pop-up on the website they can subscribe to to get a coupon for what you're offering. Uh, number two is when they fill out that customer qualification form, then you're automatically putting them on the list as well. And then lastly, you can sync up your WooCommerce products with your MailChimp. So now you've got three different way that you, ways that you funneled in the customer into a master list. These three components, the design, the optimization and the customer conversion they all contribute to having a successful website that's going to not just uh, not just serve your audience a, a bit of information or serve as brochure wear but it's going to help you conduct your business it's going to help you it's going to help automate your business to the point where you are cultivating your customers building trust and converting them into long-term customers. We hope you've enjoyed this video. Uh, like and share. Thank you.